family safety and the protection of your loved ones is your number one concern given the terrorist threats and all the natural disasters and supernatural disasters we seem to be encountering. Now safety is right down the hall in your very own smart room or safe room. You know, your home should be a place where you feel safe and protected. With all the heightened concerns about bioterrorism, nuclear terrorism, and all the different security threats, all of the different concerns with asteroids and earthquakes and earth upheavals, now there's a company that provides you with plans to build your very own affordable, innovative, multipurpose structure. Now, this is designed to protect you and your family from all emergencies, natural or man-made disasters. Complete building plans and specifications for your smart room are available in convenient PC CD-ROM format, ready to guide you or your qualified contractor step-by-step -step through the construction process. Due to the tremendous demand for the smart room plans and specifications and the increasing threat of global terrorism, Smart Room is now offering their CD for a substantially reduced price of only $19.95 plus shipping. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this used to be a $99.95 CD-ROM, and this is for a limited time only. Now, if you want to order your complete safe room, panic room, building construction plans, you can call them at 1-800-380-1951. 1-800-380-1951. This is the most concise and easy-to-follow plan. Okay, Sherry? Yep. Sherman. Hey, Sherman. How you doing? I'm here. Okay, well, you know what? I, you know, sorry about the problems. I kind of anticipated there would be problems tonight. Seems like there's a little bit on both ends here. Uh, but I have introduced you to the, the audience when I first got on the show. Uh, did a... Yeah, co-author of Stick Middle Finger News, Sticking It to the Pooh Boss, one of my favorite ones, editor of Hotline News. Why don't you tell the audience exactly what you do and why you do it? Since 1958, I've been a court reporter. Since 63, I've been the founder and chairman of the Citizens Committee to clean up the courts. We have investigated certain instances of judicial bribery and political murders. Uh, we take the whole rest of this hour to explain everything we've done in more than 40 years. Uh, let me say this. Our work in 69 is now the subject of a book called Illinois Justice by Kenneth Manister. I believe uh, it can be gotten through Amazon.com. It is the ju biggest judicial bribery scandal in American history. It caused the downfall of Illinois' highest court. In 1970, I participated with a congressional judicial uh, congressional uh, judiciary committee uh, that were planning the impeachment of a U.S. Supreme Court justice. From '83 to '93, our work in the Chicago area caused the removal, the uh, jailing for bribery of 20 judges and 40 lawyers. I'm not saying this by way of bragging or, or whatever. It's all a matter of record. I say this so that what you hear in the remainder of this program, uh, you will realize that we don't make idle statements, no pie in the sky. Uh, we try to avoid rhetoric and uh, double talk and, and so on. Yes, we tend to be very technical on occasion, and I'm sure the moderator uh, will jump in and ask us, to clear up anything that gets too technical. Uh, currently, we we are part of three websites, and how to get on one of our uh, uh, how to get email from our principal website uh, before the end of the program will take a minute or so, and I'll I'll give you that information. So keep pen and paper handy. Uh, I have uh, written a whole series of more than sixty parts called the Overthrow of the American Republic. And I'll go into it briefly. Um, the British, together with the Jesuits, have tried from the beginning of this country to break apart the country so as uh, there would not be a United States of America, but only individual provinces or colonies that would war with one another and therefore be weak by way of financial and other competition with uh, Great Britain. Uh, I remind people that the, United, that the, Brit the British uh, reinvaded the United States in 1812 and in 1814 burned down uh, the White House. 
Uh, there's another thing that is uh, not emphasized in American history, at least the way they teach it in the public schools and high schools, and that is the British either ordered or orchestrated or benefited, together with the Jesuits, in the assassination of seven U.S. presidents from 1841 to 1963 with the assassination of a Irish Catholic, John F. Kennedy. Uh, I can go into the circumstances of each one, but that would use up the remainder of the whole radio program. Um, I know this comes as a shock to some people. Uh, they have only a vague idea of what happened to Lincoln. Some of the younger people don't even remember what year it was that John F. Kennedy was assassinated because it would have been before they were born. So that is something. Now, the uh, another subject that is not taught, so far as I know, in any college or university in North America is aristocracy. I'm amazed how many college graduates really don't know how to spell the word because it doesn't come up. But uh, the point is... Uh, the aristocracy made up of the wealthiest families of uh, United States and Britain uh, are not of the mindset of the common people as to humanitarian situations and so on. Uh, they set off wars and depressions, the aristocracy does, to uh, 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 fulfill some financial or geopolitical situation. And as the United States is approaching 300 million people, uh, the aristocracy, the establishment, the ruling class, in plain language, them, uh, do not believe that uh, all of those who are uh, resident in the United States are entitled, if any of them are, to uh, the, uh, the Bill of Rights, uh, uh, starting with the First Amendment and so on. Most people that have gone to and studied uh, U.S. history uh, come out without a clear understanding of the U.S. Constitution. Um, the uh, U.S. Constitution in the beginning was a simple parliamentary procedure. The Bill of Rights was very reluctantly uh, added on. If they didn't add it on, it could be that the uh, entire thing would have been rejected. And most people don't understand that, that the Bill of Rights was added on very uh, uh, that is the uh, the elite of the United States at the time, which would be uh, about uh, 1787, uh, did not want a Bill of Rights. That was added on to satisfy uh, the, the common folk of America. And so now, when we approach 300 million people, uh, the, the aristocracy, the establishment, by whatever you wish to call them, uh, do not. Uh, they, they, they basically want to cancel the Constitution. And they still work together all this time. People think that the uh, United States and Great Britain are separate when they're really working together, aren't they? Uh, what's that? Uh, uh, well, the it, elite uh, of, uh, of uh, Great Britain and the United States and other countries uh, meet in secret societies every year. And uh, we have written about that, uh, the Bilderberg Group, uh, the Bohemian Grove, and so on. They decide in advance who is going to be the president. Right. Uh, in 91, the Bilderberg Society, a secret group, uh, invited a little-known uh, governor to come to their meeting uh, from Arkansas, uh, William Rockefeller Clinton, and uh, he was uh, anointed as the new president. I know some people said, wait a minute, I voted for him. Uh, they shaped, through the mass media controlled by the establishment, they shaped the viewpoints of the public as to why I, I use the middle name Rockefeller instead of what Clinton calls himself, Bill, uh, William Jefferson uh, Rock, uh, 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 Clinton. Uh, he is the illegitimate great-grandson of the founder of Standard Oil. If you want to read more about that, um, uh, read the series we have on our website, which I'll give the website address later, uh, Walmart and the Secret Political Police, uh, the Red Chinese Secret Police, and you'll you'll get some idea why we feel justified in calling him William Rockefeller Clinton. Um, so uh, uh, that is the, the, the basic idea there. That And, of course, the Bilderberg Society uh, in June uh, 